Airtable is, in my strong opinion, the best project management software for not only running an agency, but for running any business that you want to scale to the multi-seven, multi-eight figure level. And personally, it's what we use at my multi-seven figure business, eight figure agency. The things I love about Airtable are its versatility to be able to have almost everything in one place. You could have your CRM, your project management, your team management, your learning management, SOPs. This video is going to be a complete step-by-step -step Airtable tutorial as I show you how to use Airtable. Table for beginners. And I'll also show you some advanced features that has enabled us to work with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of agency owners, as well as process thousands and thousands of agencies and prospects and data points and communications through our Airtable bases. For those of you that don't know, Airtable is really, really simple, but it has the ability to be customized to its end user's needs. The thing that I love so much about Airtable is that at the top of it, you have your workspace. And then beneath your workspace, you have your bases. Now, your bases are where you're going to house each individual workspace within your workspace. Some of these items could be what you're seeing below as, you know, our CRM, your client management, university, team management, learning management, project management. Each one of these bases is its own little home that within in my business, we're able to easily operate. Now, what I'm gonna show you is how to start a base from scratch. Now, the thing that's really cool about Airtable is it has a lot of versatility around the end and the user's experience or the user interface. So what I'm gonna walk you through is how to set this up from scratch so you can go out and about and start this on your own. Now, as it comes down to Airtable, when you open up a base project management, you're gonna to wanna to set a base up and ultimately you wanna to start to create the frame in which your base lives within. So when I think about project management, I'm going to first and foremost, click this downward button, click edit field, I'm going to start to adjust my field, right? So we'll call this task. We'll change this from assignee to owner. One of the things I love about Airtable is the fact that you have the ability to scale in a really cost-effective manner. So what you could see here under the account that I'm logged in, I'm logged in under leadership at eightfigureagency.co. Now, the reason we do this is it gives us the ability to have several users under one login. And one of the biggest bottlenecks or the biggest costs that come with scaling softwares is paying for several seats. Now, when you're a startup or you're trying to cut costs and you scale 5, 10, 30 people, eventually when you have 100 people and you're paying for 100 seats on a software like Asana or Monday.com, it could get very costly. So one of the things that I love to do at Airtable is create these agnostic seats such as leadership at 8figureagency.co, sales at 8figureagency.co, development at 8figureagency.co. And what these allow us to do is instead of paying for several, we're now only paying for three or four bases which gives us a monthly cost of like $10 or something like that. So when it comes to setting up your first base and we're thinking about project management, there's only so many things that you actually need with project management. So let's go through how you could actually edit each column. So we have our task, which is gonna be the main record. We have our notes. I'm going to want to add a due date, right? And that's where I'll, I will find the date right here. So when it comes to the owner, one of the things that we could easily do, instead of using the actual user, you could change it so either look up a different base within your base, and I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit, or you could even just do multiple or single select, right? So I could write Jordan, Zach, Justin, Matt. And on the back side of this, even though I'm writing who the owner is, we could figure out integration. So it's not exclusively just an untied record. We could still set up the integration so they could get tied to it. So into the task, the owner, notes, due date, status, right? Just to see where we are at in the progress. Once we have this, and we could just start assigning some tasks. So Airtable video, complete YouTube editing, hire a new consultant, do a business review. So one of the cool things about this platform is the ability to change views based on who you're assigning work to. What you have here is a lot of different filters and ways to change how you're organizing your view. So let's say we wanna have our master view. This is where we're gonna have all of our tasks. Now I could also click red and call it Jordan's view. And now what I could do once I have the master, let's say I wanna set up a view just for me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a condition where the owner is Jordan, right? And what that's gonna do, this view will only filter it for me. This is my project management view. So it makes it really easy just to filter. Going back up here, what if we wanna filter things by date, right? So due date, you more actions. So we'll do Jordan. And let's just say these due dates are for this week. 
So one of the cool things, same thing, we could filter it based on who, but we could also filter it based on due date is tomorrow or today, right? We could see simple views that are going to be coming up the next you know day or so we could also group it right so let's say i want to group it by status so what's going to happen here is once i actually start to assign these statuses it's going to allow me to see where things are at in the progress which makes it really user friendly to just quickly see oh this is done this is still due and this is not so if you're looking at it in a master view or my view right? Now I could see I have some things that are to do or not. I love grouping by status because especially in project management makes things easy to see. Now, when it comes to Kanban, like you have different views down here. You have grid. I personally prefer grid. You have form, gallery, and Kanban. So Kanban is what you typically see in like a Trello view. So similar to things like Trello, you can move things along and all of a sudden now you still have this view that's filtered primarily based on status, right? So not only can you change it simply from here, you could have a different view to manage your project management. Now, if we're going deeper and you're actually considering, well, this is really cool. I want to actually take this really seriously. So let's dive a little bit deeper. Let's say you want to have an SOP. You might be referencing an outside URL, right? So let's say we have a task on how to make an error table video. If you start to templatize tasks in your projects, you might say, oh, I want to start putting SOP links just in case people need to view this. All right, so going back to mine, I could look at this for my to-do, what's done, what's coming up. Once you actually click into your cards, you could have your comments. And you said, watching comments, you're going to be notified whenever someone comments on this record. So there will be an auto record here that's notified. And same thing, because I'm logging in, because this is an agnostic, I could notify my whole team. So this is project management in its simplest form. Now I want to show you some other tools and other ways I like to manipulate this data. So project management is really simple. You can make a lot of different tabs for focusing, but then you could even make another table. Let's just say this is for our paid media division. Maybe this is about to be for our SEO team. So that's one way of editing and adjusting these things. One thing that I find extremely particular, extremely relevant when it comes to project management, clients. So when it comes to project management, same thing. I started to mention, if you want to every time bring on a new client, you could start to have a new grid view. You could have it filtered exclusively by your client. Let's make this client A, B, client A, client T. Right, so now when we go in here, we could have, this is client A. Now we could also group things by status. So now when you go into this view, you're going to have your client view because it's filtered based on the client. You're going to be looking at things based on due date and what you could have here, random task. It's Jordan, it's Justin, this is due. All right, so now you could sort this in a way that will automatically put things from highest to lowest. So organizing this could get pretty complex, especially as you get more clients, as you get more views, as you get more team members, you could filter your views by team members, you could filter your views by clients, and you can make a lot of different integrations and automations on timelines and Kanbans, things of that nature. This is the basic overview of project management. It's really simple and really easy to use it. Another great example of what we could do, let's actually go right back into this. Let's start fresh one more time. So now what you might be wondering is from a CRM perspective, how could this work? You know, in this video, I'm not gonna be walking you through how could set up your CRM. I'm going to show you simply though how to organize it. So you could easily set up an integration between Airtable and Calendly if that's your software of choice where you can set up the records that are in alignment between Calendly and this. So one of the most common things that when it comes to a CRM is you have your name, you have your email, phone number, status, booked, voice sent, post line, post loss. You could have status reason, right? So let's say someone is closed lost. So you want to understand and why was that deal lost? So that can be a single select, multi-select, some examples that I might show. No show, ghosted, call to, no budget, wrong niche, prospect. So now when you close deals, what you can do is you could take this and you could start to automatically extrapolate where you're having leads, their email, number. And what I always like to do in my CRM is I'm always going to group this by status, right? 
So what I want to see in my status is, are, where's my call booked? One thing we have at ADAP, we call it one-time offer. So I really like to adjust and see my pipeline. Jane Doe's booked. Her potential MRR might be, you know, $4,000, $3,000 invoice, or onboarding fee. This guy might be $5,000 or $50,000 with a $2,000 onboarding. So it automatically will summarize how much is actually in my pipeline. On top of that, some things that in your CRM specifically that you might want to see is your next touch point. So let's just do this by date. When it comes to setting up your CRM, I'm going to talk to a lot of people. I might have to set a reminder here for myself. I'm talking to Jane Doe on the 17th. And what happens if I click this button on the left, I could write my note that Jane wanted to think on opportunity sync with her so now i could keep a record of what's been happening in here it's really easy to manipulate this like i showed before it's going to be very easy to download all my data so one thing that we do on a monthly basis is we will download thousands and thousands of records and then excel will start to manipulate and start to understand where things are what we need to know about trends and this is ultimately the simplest way to use project management now I'll show you some cool things as it relates to some of the other bases that we already have set up. And we won't go too far into it, but just to show you the potential, because this is just to outline the first project management and the CRM. Now, some things I love about the team member directory, you could have your titles, names, and we have a ticket. We have some extensions, Let's see who's active. We could offboard team members simply. So you can see here, right? The versatility of this is really fantastic. I love to use the LMS to categorize really all of our content. You can see we have 240 records that really span a lot of different topics, a lot of different content pieces. It's a really great resource. One thing I want to show is the interfaces. Now, like I said, this is a basic setup. This is a basic overview. I'm not going to be diving too far into how we do things. I want to let you know there are some advanced features. So what we have here on the interface side of things is a way to customize your base. You could have your main contact here. When someone auto books through Calendly, you could capture all this information easily. You could change their statuses in here. You could move them into closed loss, change the reason. You could write all their information. So we customize this view to our team's needs very specifically. What's their niche, MRR, information, pain points, goals. We could put the offer and the salesperson and what their sales commission is going to be. We could have notes for handoff. We could edit so we could have Slack, what their onboarding form is and what their one-time payment is and what their recurring revenue is going to be, how many weekly hours of consulting, who's going to be the consultant that's going to work with them. All this stuff can be set up, deal closed, automatic. The thing I love about Airtable is its versatility, which I didn't get to display fully, but the interfaces are an amazing way to do that. Now, although I covered everything, what you can do with Airtable if you're still looking for help, if you want someone to do this for you, my agency has its own dev department where we call it the agency operating system, where we build Airtable bases specific and templatized for agencies. We've already done this for dozens and dozens of agencies and have worked with hundreds. So we know exactly what you need to do, customize it for your needs and make it so easy so you can focus on getting to the goal you want to and get out of the prison that you're built in. If you would like help with that and you want help setting up and running your Airtable and your project management, CRM, and team management, go to the link below and click that link where we can assist you in doing so.